Good morning! So this is a new start to my little series. I'm not quite sure exactly how this is going to come out so I want to apologize that this, I think these first few vlogs are going to be very random but the main reason why I want to also do this is just to share with you random tips that I feel like are not big enough to make a tutorial video and plus i i enjoy learning about tips better through these casual conversations than you know just to have a whole display production um, i love sharing ideas and tips with my sister and i'm hoping to do that in my vlogs with you um so a random tip here is that uh, i love using a humidifier and i think that is a great great beauty essential to have not a lot of people talk about that I notice in beauty videos I feel nice and hydrated the next morning my skin feels good like I don't feel dry out I used to live in California then I moved to Utah and now I'm in Arizona so it gets super super dry and if I don't turn it on I don't get a good night's sleep which happened last night I forgot to turn it on I started coughing so much in the middle of the night um, but whenever I have it on, I just feel like, wow, my skin feels amazing. There are times when I forget to moisturize and my skin doesn't feel dry the next morning. Body is sore from the workout, but sore in a good way. It's not like terrible. I just got this really, really cute, I don't know what you call this thing, but it goes like this, like for the nightstand. Um, and it just keeps my water cover. By the way, I got this from Amazon. I'll put the link below this video if it's still available. So in the last couple of months, I have been going to the gym consistently. It's been a very, very helpful place for me to just relieve some stress and tension. My form of workouts in the past would consist a lot of martial arts like Muay Thai, Jiu Jitsu, and kickboxing. I used to overdo my workouts without realizing that I was doing lots of cardio and HIIT type of training. I really enjoyed what I was doing and it was an active activity for me to get out of the house, meet new people, and release some tension. I lost weight rapidly during that time because I was going every day, but then my metabolism was just out of control. With the lockdown in 2020 and then traveling, I slowed down a lot. My metabolism also later felt normal again but then I also gained some unwanted weight. Now I'm slowly working on getting healthy in a more sustainable way. And since my son is also getting into weight training, he wants to bulk up, build some muscle. He has been motivating me at the same time to push harder at the gym and also to consider eating more protein. He's been my motivator on this workout journey. I think I did. I think I finally did it right this time. Look at that. There's so much I want to share with you regarding my newfound wisdom to eating mindfully, but we'll save that for another video. So I think I've always been an intuitive eater, but I found out it wasn't working for me. I didn't know how to set boundaries because I'm mistaken treating myself with self-love. I needed some form of structure and discipline, and so tracking my calories and protein intake has been very helpful and enjoyable for me. I feel like I'm in more control with what I'm eating, and it gives me some sort of visual note-taking idea. I'll try not to obsess over it because I know that when we overdo something, it can just bring us out of balance and so defeat fun. the whole purpose.
I finally gave in and got myself an Apple Watch. I was never a fan of having like a mini little phone on my wrist. I've always thought this design was too bulky for me and it didn't relate to me then because my lifestyle was different then. Like I dressed differently, I wore dresses more often and I didn't think that this was cute or whatever it is. So I had a Fitbit for about two years and I noticed that it wasn't a gimmick purchase. I ended up really using it um and i just realized its limitation this year and so i wanted to upgrade into something functional something that i would really use every day and since i've been wearing my workout clothes every day like most of the time most of my life now i thought why not invest into something that i will use that's very functional that's practical and that will help me reach my goals since I will be turning 40 years old the end of this year, I want to make it a special one. I want to feel like my 40s is going to be a special time in my life. Um, I want to be able to take care of myself. I want to take care of my body and by the time I hit 40, I feel good. Um, these past couple of years, my weight has been on a, you know, it's been like a yo-yo and um, I, I, felt like I lost control of myself, self-control. I felt like I lost my power. And, you know, part of the time I was blaming on my relationship. I was blaming on other stuff. And really, I needed to take that self-control and do this for myself. And so that's why I'm starting the series. It's to hold myself accountable and hopefully to encourage others out there that aging doesn't have to be a terrible process, you know, that we can do it and have fun with it and enjoy it. Um, I see people calling themselves old at 30, which is so disappointing and it's such a, a terrible mindset to just carry on. And I hope that I can do this in a more nurturing way and really take care of my body. All these past years, I have not been embracing my body and loving it. And I think it's just from immaturity, you know, from our exterior influences and our upbringing, but mostly, my body has been taking care of me all this time. And so I feel like it's time that I take care of my body and I nurture it in a more loving way. And that's what I want to do with this whole new phase in my life is to really take care of my body. And I want to share these moments with you out there who may want to see a different perspective than what is mainly out there. Whenever I find content that is about, you know, showing somebody embracing who and where they are in their life, it, it's very empowering and very encouraging. And I love those kind of content, but we don't find much of it. And hopefully I can add a little bit of myself into that pool. And hopefully that pool will grow bigger and bigger the more people see and, and encourage each other. And then you get about around 20 grams of protein per container. adult when you just care about practicality and efficiency you don't care about how you look you don't care about anything you know when I see somebody pull up a cart at this apartment complex I'm like that's a smart person right there so I bought a whole bunch of chicken breasts so I'm gonna cook enough for the week and then I'm going to freeze the rest of all this chicken breast I'm curious what you guys do with like some of your groceries some of the packages, I would rinse it before I put it in the fridge. And then I spray it down with um, a mix of half vinegar and half water. So I just spray this. 
And then I have a designated towel that I use to like wipe these packages. So tonight I'm trying out this recipe from Whitney Simmons, um, one of her videos. It's this pecan crusted chicken and it sounds really, really good. If this turns out good, I'll probably make a batch for the week. I hope this is gonna cook well in the air fryer. This piece of chicken is kind of thick. Her recipe is for a 10 ounce chicken. So this one is eight ounce and then this one is six ounce. I wonder if I should have cut this. Maybe I should have cut this. I'm gonna cut this. I think I did it. Look at the chicken. It looks really good. I hope that you enjoy spending the time with me today. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching and please let me know in the comment section below this video if you thought this video is too long or too short. I would like to hear some of your feedback on how I can improve. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you next Sunday. Love you. Ciao.